All right, I said I have a follow-up video for you talking about Trump wanting the U.S. to lead in artificial intelligence, and here it is. Before we get started, I should just say we need to think about the appearance of our actions as well as the actions themselves. Let's get into the show. Listeners and subscribers, hope all is well. I don't really know how long this one is going to take, but I hope you stick around until the end. I'm just showing you this here. Nope. Trump administration has no plans to build a national 5G network. This is just to show you how they mess with you. Last year, January 29th, 2018, they were talking about how they had no plans to really do anything big with 5G. And a year later, if you've watched my previous video, yeah, you see what they're doing now. And not only with 5G, but with AI. And a matter of fact, it's so important with AI. Uh, executive order on maintaining American leadership in artificial intelligence was signed, and this was issued on February 11th, 2019. This is from the whitehouse.gov. I'll leave a link in the description below. It has some interesting stuff in here. It talks about the you know, economic implications and national security and you know the global evolution of AI and everything like that. So it's, it's pretty interesting. I'll leave a link in the description. But AI has become so important now, we have... It mandates on this and we'll get into some of the some of the implications here I was looking at some of the people talking about the executive order on AI and one of the things I found interesting was the link between AI and big data okay and not necessarily what was uh, posted here what you're seeing on the screen but I will leave a link to this but it made me think about the breaches that have been happening. The uh, big breach that happened at Equifax, right? Equifax says that the cyber attack may have affected 143 million in the United States. And it wasn't just uh, Equifax that was hacked. I mean, if I was going to put a link in the description for each place that would hack, it would be a mile long, right? But uh, Facebook was hacked as well. And you kind of got to ask the question, are these uh, hackers and hoodies or you know china and, and other foreign companies is that simply what it is or are these uh, companies assisted with ai are they using ai at all to to assist them in their nefarious purposes that's a that's a pretty interesting question and and linking ai to big data in that way but I know that goes down realms of speculation, and I haven't really uh, covered anything like that on my channel. But hey, maybe I have uh, some substance for a future video. But AI has affected uh, companies in other ways as well, and mostly in its development phase where it has surprised programmers by inventing its own language. You know, Facebook, they shut down their AI robots after they did the same. And uh, other websites kind of try to downplay what happened, but essentially it is what it sounds like. They quit the program after these AI chatbots started not using English and communicating to each other in a language only those two chatbots understood. And this is just small anecdotal evidence of how AI has evolved beyond sort of what the programmers had originally anticipated. AI is the future and, you know, in more ways than one. So let's go ahead and play this clip here and we'll see what we're talking about. So from The Guardian, we have weaponized AI is coming. Our algorithmic forever wars are future. Last month marked the 17th anniversary of 9-11. With it came a new milestone. We've been in Afghanistan for so long that someone born after the attacks is now old enough to go there and fight. They can also serve in the six other places where we're officially at war, not to mention the 133 countries where special operations forces have conducted missions in just the first half of 2018. The wars of 9-11 continue with no end in sight. Now the Pentagon is investing heavily in technologies that will intensify them. By embracing the latest tools that the tech industry has to offer, the U.S. military is creating a more automated form of warfare, one that will greatly increase its capacity to wage war everywhere forever. On Friday, the Defense Department closes the bidding period for one of the biggest technology contracts in its history, the Joint Enterprise Defense Infrastructure, or JEDI of all things. JEDI is an ambitious project to build a cloud computing system that serves U.S. forces all over the world, from analysis behind a desk in Virginia to soldiers on patrol in Niger. The contract is worth as much as $10 billion over 10 years, which is why big tech companies are fighting hard to win it. Not Google, however, where a pressure campaign by workers forced management to drop out of the running. At first glance, Jedi might look like another IT modernization project, 
Government IT tends to run a fair distance behind Silicon Valley, even in a place as lavishly funded as the Pentagon. With some 3.4 million users and 4 million devices, the Defense Department's digital footprints is immense. Moving even a portion of its workload to a cloud provider such as Amazon will no doubt improve efficiency. But the real force driving Jedi is the desire to weaponize AI, what the Defense Department has begun calling algorithmic warfare. By pooling the military's data into a modern cloud platform and using the machine learning services that such platforms provide to analyze the data, Jedi will help the Pentagon realize its AI ambitions. Very, very interesting. And I mean, the real interesting thing about the AI soldiers is that AI soldiers will listen to orders whether they're constitutional or not. You don't think they'll have programming around that? And they have already have the kill bots. You have to understand anything in military research and development is years beyond anything you're going to pick up at your local Best Buy. Okay? And that is the truth. So when we're talking about AI, we're not talking about your gimmicks like, you know, Siri. We're not talking about programmed responses. Okay? We're not talking about just self-adjusting algorithms. We're talking about something much more sophisticated than that. Look And looking at the direction AI can take us, uh, they're already asking the big questions, right? Could AI allow you to live forever? Now, I'm not going to go through this article because I actually covered this before, but this was straight out of an episode of Black Mirror. This was about a uh, an individual who had lost their friend and was looking through vestiges or looking for vestiges of him through like text messages and social media accounts to try and compile um, an artificial intelligence program that essentially replicated his personality. And that's pretty sophisticated, okay? And that's what we're talking about. And this is, again, right out of an episode of Black Mirror. And that was just one way the, the AI is, is we're looking at this, okay? Because, you know, ultimately, uh, if we're not winning any souls for Christ, we're losing, okay? And AI has some serious implications when it comes to spiritual warfare okay we already have the ai controlled brain implants for mood disorders tested in people okay and this is the same ai that can go off and create its own language the same ai um like amazon alexa if you remember that deal who wouldn't even um, acknowledge the deity of Christ and we're going to get into this because we can't talk about AI without highlighting some of the spiritual implications of this uh, this is spiritual warfare and you can't always readily identify what that looks like uh, if you're not inoculated with the with the appropriate antidote okay so we could talk about all day about um, some of the other implications. Again, we're just scratching the surface. This is just cursory stuff. We're not going in too deep. I will leave links in the description for you to check out this stuff on your own time. But we're talking about AI-controlled brain implants. We're talking about AI allowing us to live forever. We're talking about AI being incorporated into the military. Okay, and we're asking the questions, can AI be used to assist in these data breaches to uh, collect information on uh, American citizens for some reason. Are they compiling some kind of database? You know, who knows? Especially when we're talking about things like Equifax. Uh, I think this goes beyond, you know, Chinese companies and uh, other nefarious organizations across the pond. I think a lot of this is more homegrown than we might realize. And when we're talking about this stuff, uh, this this will be great material for future videos because I think we should be taking this trajectory elsewhere, uh, moving away from the strictly political aspects and showing how um, politics is used as a vehicle to push these nefarious initiatives. But he's pushing for this AI, so maybe he doesn't know something, maybe he's being tricked, or hey, maybe he is a part of this New World Order train. But uh, AI and 5G uh, major declarations in the same month, it means something, okay? Like I said, we scratched the surface. Those are the only areas we're going to go for today. The only realms we're going to touch on. We'll touch on this uh, Amazon Alexa denying the deity of Christ and those implications and everything uh, in another video. If I throw too much at you, we're going to start to lose people. Anyway, take care of yourselves out there.